Hi Sagittarius, how's it going? Welcome to my channel, Universal Intuition. My name is Jacqueline. Thank you all so much for being here. Today's video is going to be your April general reading, again for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. I hope you're all doing very well out there, staying safe. I know there's a lot going on in the world right now. Um, so please know that I'm always thinking of y'all, sending all of you so much love, blessings, abundance, protection, and of course, always am hoping that y'all are staying safe. Um, so anyways, with that being said, right after this general reading, Sagittarius, we go right into your love reading. If you'd like to join us for the love reading, it's the first link in the description box below. And what we do over there in the love readings, in case you're new, hello and welcome, of course, is I use the um, Crystal Vision deck. It's super romantic. That's why I use it for love readings. And we take a moment to look at the other person you're dealing with in love and romance, Sagittarius, and we see how they really feel about you. Um, how do they feel about you long term? What is their long term intention for you? something I feel is really important to look at. We look at y'all's mutual energy. What do y'all talk about, think about, plan about? Uh, all those things that y'all do together, we look at that. And of course, we look at potential outcome. Where is y'all's relationship or special connection truly headed from here? So again, that reading is downstairs in the description box below. My Instagram is also in the description box if you'd like to come follow or come say hello. Um, but anyways, let's get into it. This is your general reading, anything goes. I'm using the Cosmic Tarot today. All right, Sagittarius, let's get into it. How are y'all doing? Are y'all holding up pretty pretty good, pretty well? I'm at home all the time anyway, so it's uh, not too much change for me, but I know there's a lot of change for a lot of other people out there. So um, again, just sending love and light to all of you. All right, Spirit, what's the best and highest message for Sagittarius at this time? Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We've got two more. All right, bottom of the deck, we've got some fire energy here. We have the Princess of Wands, okay? Younger fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Uh, as a theme for your reading, this is really, really good. The Princess or Page of Wands, a younger version of yourself. Could be a child you're dealing with. Oh, Princess of Swords too. Um, that there's a lot of fresh energy around you is what I feel. There's something new that you're into. There's a new chapter in your life that has started or is about to start soon. Something that you are very determined about. Um, some There's a little bit, little bit of, you're a little not sure about it, but I know you're using your intuition to just go for it, okay? There's a little bit of, and look at her face. She's a little like, mmm. Mm, I don't know, I'm not 100% sure, but this is someone who just does it anyways. This is, you know, that fire energy. Y'all have strong intuition, your gut told you to do something, and now you're gonna take action, okay? So you're definitely feeling um, inspired and creative about something. Spirit, what is Sagittarius's current energy at this time? Thank you, Spirit, for these messages. What is their current energy at this time? Sagittarius, please. Wow, Ace of Swords and the Star card. Look at all that air energy. So um, this is card of Aquarius and then air or the swords represent Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So double Aquarius here. Um, we have so much clarity going on here. You know, Ace of Swords, all aces represent new beginnings. So I feel like this is that light bulb, that epiphany, that aha moment that maybe some of you have been searching for. When we get the Ace of Swords, it's telling me in your pa in your recent past that there's been something very confusing, something you weren't sure, um, you know, how to go about something. And this is like number one with the sword. So I feel the energy of the Ten of Swords kind of falling off or has, has fell off a while ago. Something heavy, a burden, especially in the mental mental energy, something that was kind of dragging you down, stressing you out mentally is over and there's a new fresh beginning here. Very, very good. And with the star card connected to that, this new beginning, this new idea, this new chapter, this 
weight lifting off of your shoulders was meant to be with the star card. Could be about an Aquarius, but more than that, this is about um, destiny, okay? Your stars aligning here, being optimistic. You've been trying to be very optimistic about whatever's been going on in your situation. And please keep in mind, these are general readings. This could be about a relationship. This could be about a personal goal. This could be about work for you, whatever it is. Um, and then for also for deeper message uh, messages, Sagittarius, make sure y'all checking out your moon sign, your rising sign, and or Venus sign, okay? Um, but yeah, this was a little bit of a struggle for you with the seven of wands um, at the bottom of the deck here um, and the seven of cups. I feel like you were, this took, it was like a long time coming. This is something that you've been going through for quite some time. I'm going to say months, I'm hearing months upon months of um, just contemplating, holding this heavy energy and something about April is like, boom, it's like I hear like a ding like that ring in your ear, but very sharp, very clear um, that something has ended and, and a new something awesome is starting in your life. Something that was meant to be something destined to be in your life. Okay, I feel that very strongly with the star card. Uh, Spirit, what is uh, coming towards Sagittarius? What's coming towards them in April? Money. <laughs> We have the queen of pentacles, okay? Some of you could be dealing with an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, um, regardless of if it's a person or not. You know, what's coming towards you is abundance, okay? You knowing your worth, whether this is about someone else or this is your energy, um, in April, you're solid. You're solid as a rock. There is some type of, and I feel like it has a lot to do with this ace of swords. There's some kind of idea, an epiphany, a dream you had, um, just, you know, something that went off and you finally were like, yes, that's the ticket. That's it. Um, and it's a, and for a lot of you, it's about your worth. It's about maybe your money, your value system, um, your home life, that kind of thing that you actually, the epiphany I feel in general is that y'all have everything that you need. You, you're totally taken care of. You're totally supported in every single way. Uh, the queen of pentacles does not stress, does not worry about, you know, money about food like she she's confident she knows she doesn't have to worry about it she already accepts and knows that she has it therefore it's an easy channel for it to keep coming into her life okay very nurturing and confident um energy here i love it i love the queen of pentacles for y'all all right what else is coming in for sagittarius please Spirit, what else is coming in for Sagittarius in April? Hey, it's you. I love it. And the Prince of Cups too. So um, there's some type of romantic offer maybe coming in. Um, but regardless, the Temperance card is you. This is your card, Sagittarius. And this card, whoa, this card, y'all, you Sagittarius have been showing up in probably half of my other readings, probably five or six of my other readings. Um, and I feel like this is like the energy everyone needs right now is patience, is divine timing to slow down, to put out, you know, water over fire, putting out fires in your life, in your career, in your love life, in your personal life, um, getting healthy. This is a card of, 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 of radiance, of, of practicing healthy habits, healthy eating, um, you know, exercise, stretching, um, getting outside. I know we're all inside, but you know, you can still go for a walk, walk your dog, go on a walk with your partner, um, or go just put in your headphones and, go, you know, just go jam out like whatever works for you but I just feel this like a wonderful beautiful healing energy over you um that everything's gonna be okay uh I I, I feel honestly I feel all of a sudden Bob Bob Marley vibes like everything's gonna be all right you know just I feel like uh y'all are in a hammock like all your stresses and worries for the most part I know that not everything is always gonna be peachy keen and 100 percent but right now this big worry this big stressor is now off of you and you're just like kicking your feet up relaxing I really see y'all outside in a hammock just like oh I'm so glad that chapter is over with now um you're really soaking up the sun healing um and just just being patient with yourself, being patient with, their pro with the process. And if y'all have someone else in your life that you're dealing with, you're being patient with them as well. Patience, patience, patience. And there's love on the way with this temperance energy with the Prince of Cups. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. <laughs> 
All right, Spirit, what else do we have for Sagittarius, please? Uh, yes, please. We have the Prince of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Guardian Angel Energy. Please know, without a doubt, y'all are super protected, especially with Temperance and then the... Um, the Prince of Pentacles coming out. This is like your angels, your guides, your higher self, God, the light, the divine, whatever you resonate and connect with spiritually is all around you, all around you, 110%. Okay. Even if you don't feel it, that they're there. That's like the vibe I'm feeling here. Um, and I also am feeling like the epiphany, a part of this Ace of Swords is like, oh, that's the ticket. Oh, that's the answer. That's what it is. It's just to slow down. Okay. I feel like a lot of you have just been like, okay, I need to hurry. I need to fix this. I just, I want it to be over. I want this thing, this heaviness, that 10 of Swords. I just want it to be over with. Um, and now that you've figured out, oh, I just need to be me. I just need to tap into my creative self and slow down. Also, slowing down is the, uh, the Prince of Pentacles. Slow and steady wins the race. There's something very, very, very stable now um, that's come into your life, okay? Um, with Especially with the Queen of Pentacles and now the Prince of Pentacles. Um, it's like you have an awakening and, and like maybe you have... Um, someone in your life that you didn't realize how much they help you and now you're realizing that or maybe there's this um you know i don't know i feel like an extra like resources like an extra home or an extra inheritance of money or an extra just pocket of resources that maybe you weren't remembering and now you remember and you're like oh my gosh thank goodness it's like a saving grace type of energy here very good. And it's something that's going to last for quite a long time. Who's this? Oh, yeah. Okay. So Sagittarius next out after the Prince of Pentacles, um, really learning to kind of slow down. Whoop, we speed back up. So then we have an Ace of Swords. I'm sorry, the Ace of Wands with the Emperor. Okay. Aries energy. Lots of fire here. Um, all aces represent new beginnings, like I said earlier, and this one is about passion, fire. So I feel this energy, right? I feel this energy of something stressful. Has y'all been dealing with something really stressful for a long time? What that is is going to be different for each and every one of you. Um, that chapter has ended or is currently ending for most of you that I'm connecting with. You feel a sense of oh, relief. I feel great. I just need to slow down. I'm so grateful for what I have. This thing that I didn't realize, I actually do have it. I am okay. I have my partner. I have my job. I have my, I have me, whatever that is for you. Um, you just feel this sense of calm and healing and reassurance. It's like you're being lifted up. It's like your foundation and your stability within yourself, within your home life, whatever this is for you is now here and you feel so good. And as soon as you feel good, aha, you're in the hammock kicking your feet up boom <laughs> there is a surprise there's another new beginning um starting here and with the emperor card it could be something um where you're moving up there could be a promotion i know a lot of y'all are having um career shifts and being laid off and all the things but there's something with the emperor and the star card there's something about this time for you sagittarius that's like almost saying Hey, you're getting that promotion. Hey, because the emperor is the boss. He's the divine masculine. He is Aries energy, the first house, the number one, natural born leader, okay? So there's something about that. There's a new beginning of, you know, where you're really stepping up to be a leader. You're getting a promotion. And with all of this earth energy too, it definitely could be, um, you know, a raise, a promotion, or just the security that you do have, some type of income coming in okay makes you feel very good you also with the emperor card i feel like you have you know control back in your life like you've maybe felt sagittarius recently a little out of control i'm not sure where this is going i'm not sure what my future has in store for me none of us really know that right but there's been a lot of questions swords uncertainty and now we're seeing um, really a divine, um, I want to say divine counterpart, but like a, a divine intervention coming in saying, you know, God, source, light, your angels, whatever you resonate with has really come in and given you, given y'all such a blessing. Okay. And, and you have, you have 
it's like you're getting back to who you really were this whole time, okay? I feel like um, so many, you, you have been taking on layers and, and pain and all this drama and craziness and, and, and burden on your shoulders. And there's something about the energy now where it's kind of all clear and you're just feeling really, really good. And again, I feel like those layers are coming off. It's like you've had, you know, it's like you've had your winter coat on and a scarf and a hat and your gloves and you've just been holding on. Like, I just see it as all these clothes. Like, um, I'm seeing that Friends episode where Joey puts on all of... Um, the other dude's name, not Ross, but the other guy. Oh my God. Y'all know what I'm saying. I'm sure y'all know what I'm saying where he puts on all of his, uh, Chandler, Joey puts on all of Chandler's clothes, um, to teach him a lesson or something. And he has on all of his pants and sweatpants and work shirts. And, and that's like how I see, how I see where y'all have been recently. Like just kind of like, okay, I'm just, I'm still doing it, but I have all this crap on. And now it's like something's happened and you're just like, boop, 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 boop. I'm taking all that off. And now it's just the raw you. It's the real you. And that has really lifted your vibration. I just, I just love this energy. Last card that came out was the uh, Prince of Wands here, Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. You've got it back. You've got your mojo back. I just now saw this card after everything I just said. And that's pretty much what I just said. So uh, bottom of the deck, y'all have the Queen of Swords, okay, and the Queen of Wands, the King of Cups and Judgment. There's a lot of people around you, a lot of love, a lot of passion, a lot of clarity and communication. I feel like no matter what's going on in your world right now, communication is key, that you're you're being very clear with your communication. And I get, I just love the Temperance and now the Prince of Wands. And I feel this sense of loyalty to yourself, okay? Um, he's still young, he's still moving forward, he has still so many dreams and things he desires that he's gonna go after. He or she is just a little bit more of a masculine energy. And I'm looking at that lion, that kind of Leo energy of loyalty that you've been loyal to yourself. He's holding this wand, um, he's holding it close to him. It's almost like your, your spiritual stick, your support system. Um, like you're holding it close to you. Like you know that forever and for always, um, you always have you. And that's such a beautiful gift. That is something really wonderful to value, right? So anyways, I love this reading. I'm going to end it there. This is really, really wonderful. I love this uh, for y'all. Sending y'all lots of love. We're going to do your love reading. It's the first link in the description if you'd like to join. Um, if this is where we part, Sagittarius, I love y'all so much. Thank you for continuing to excuse me, support me during this time. Y'all have no idea how grateful I am for all of you. Likes, shares, subscribes, donations. I am just insanely grateful for all of that. I have a giveaway going on right now um, on my Instagram, I'm giving away a, a free personal reading and I'm collaborating with Spiritual Goodies and they're giving away a subscription box from March. Really awesome stuff. Excuse me, how to enter Everything is on my Instagram, universal underscore uh, intuition. My Instagram link is uh, also in the description box. So anyways, I love y'all so much. I'm going to end it there. See y'all. Bye.